Welcome to another video. And today we are going to talk about CSEC, school-based assessment at your SBA for food, nutrition, and health class. So it is for students who are going into grade 11 this September, 2022. And this SBA normally lasts for two years. So assessment is for students, as I mentioned, 2022, 2023 and 2024. So this will be the SBA number two for those two year span. So let's go into the question, of course. So CSET normally send a guideline for your SBA. And these are the elements. So let's go. Number one, you're going to ask to debone poultry. Number two, stuffing, rolling, and slicing of that poultry. Poultry. And then you're going to prepare suitable accompaniment. And I know you did your first SBA, so you'll be able to understand what are suitable accompaniment. So in your SBA, you are going to be assessed. So your assessment method will be one, your practical demonstration, or well you work doing your practical exam, right? The assessor, or your subject teacher, they will ask you oral questioning. And this is not uh, very difficult. So they will ask simple questions like, what is your activity given? And what are the one course meal, et cetera. So anything that is related to the question. Another one will be direct observation. So they will come around and watch you work. No speaking. Just watch or you angle yourself in the lab. And finally, of course, your final product evaluation. So the assessor will evaluate or you display your product. All right. So they actually have some guidelines when it comes on to your assessment. So guidelines for food, nutrition, and health, school-based assessment number two. So these are some guidelines. Number one, assessment number two. So this would be your assessment number two, right? It should be completed within the first term of year two and will be externally moderated unless otherwise stated. So students are expected to complete the activity within two and a half hour. This will include cleanup and presentation. Number one, planning and pre-preparation time is not included in the two and a half hours. So I always, tell my students, right? So when you're going to do your practical, you have two and a half hours, right? So you come in early, you set up your area, get your tools and equipment, get your time plan ready, get your recipe ready, and prepare your table for your final presentation. So you do all of those stuff before you start. Because yes, two and a half hour look like a long time, but when you're actually working, time go really fast. So you make your planning and do some pre-preparation before you do your SBA. Students are required to complete all activity within that test period. Proper use and equipment are needed. Adhere to safety guidelines when using tools and equipment. Prepare at least two servings. And students, why they want us to do two servings is because you don't want to do a lot of food items in which take up a lot of time, all right? So let's move on. So your work activity. So you're asked to debone one of the following chicken parts. All right, sorry. So either you do leg, um, you can do the thigh, or you can do the breast. I've done a video on deboning chicken, so I will put that in the description box just for you to watch, all right? So you're, you're asked to do any of those deboning, right? In that after you debone, you're going to be asked to stuff, do a stuffing and then roll it in the preparation for cooking. So when you debone and you remove the bone, you're going to stuff the chicken, all right? So either the leg, the thigh, or the breast. All right? Good. Then they ask you to do one method. So prepare chicken using one of these methods. 
So either you're going to do a roasting method. So these are a method of cooking, and I know you know method of cooking, right? So either you do a roasting, so you can have your grill, and you can roast your chicken, right? Or you can do your baking, or you can do deep fat frying, and all of these are dry eat methods. And I know that you know that when you're using dry eat methods, you have to have a, have a sauce to go with that accompaniment, right? Good. So if you're going to roast, you're going to have a sauce for you to base it. If you're going to bake it, you're going to have a sauce as well. However, and for your deep fat frying, and the deep fat frying will mean that you do coating. So you can coat it with your flour, your breadcrumbs, your cornflakes, your cornmeal, any coating method, but you have to have some stuffing and do some rolling uh, method in your preparation. They ask for an appropriate accompaniment to complete the main course, including a sauce, right? So you know that when you have a one course meal, you have three components, and I'm going to explain that or go through that again later on in the activity. All right, so deboning of chicken. All right, choose the correct equipment. So when you're going to debone your poultry, right, you have to have a boning knife. And you have to have a cutting board. So those, those are the two main equipment that you need. But if you don't have the boning knife, you can use a regular utility knife to do that process. All right. As I said, I have a video you can watch to see how you debone. So these are the two main equipment that you need for your deboning. All right. So they are saying that frozen poultry must be correctly thawed to ensure maximum quality hygiene and nutrition. So when you're coming to school, you can't season your chicken. Remember, you have to debone it first and then you season after. All right. So you when you're when after you debone your chicken, you you are asked to trim the excess fat. All right. You are going to ask to use a correct technique in deboning. All right. Next. You're asked to do scoring. I know you know scoring already. So these are some terms in method of cooking. Scraping, slicing, dicing, and removing. All right? In the SBA, they ask us to save the bone. So for instance, if you are going to debone that chicken leg, or we call it drumstick, you have to save the bone. And why? Because the C because C set asks that you use that bone in your portfolio entry. And you know that you need a portfolio entry, right? So for my students, um, I told them that you we are going to make a stock or we are, we are going to make a sauce with the leftover bone. So they are going to do a practical and they are going to do folder entries related to leftover bones, all right? So it's a additionally, as a part of your full portfolio entry, Indicate all you'll use the leftover bones. All right. So in stuffing, rolling, and slicing, we have some techniques, all right? And you have to know. So when you're stuffing, right? Stuffing can make stuffing can be made from many different ingredients. Example, herbs. You can use cheese, you can use vegetable, you can use fruits. You can use base and um, bread base or grain base ingredients, right? So in the herbs, you know that the herbs you can use any herbs at all, and you can mix it with garlic. So you can create your own stuffing as it relates to your practical. Using binding ingredients and stock or broth to moisten the stuffing. All right. Um, stuffing as that has been cooked must be cooled completely before inserting in that particular chicken, all right? So it have to be cool. So I would advise person, person if you're gonna make difficult stuffing, like say for instance, you have to cook potato and carrots, you cook them before and you can bring them to school so you can easily stuff your chicken, all right? The most important thing here is for you to do the deep boning at school and we are gonna see how you stuff the chicken or you roll it and how you slice it, all right? Insert stuffing just before cooking to minimize the risk of bacteria growth. So we don't want anyone to get sick. Do not overstuff, as the stuffing may expand during cooking. So when you're stuffing your chicken, you, may, you must not overstuff it because you need 
for it when you when you're finished cooking. You need to slice it so you can see the inside. All right. Roll and secure before cooking. All right. And you're going to cook thoroughly and slice before serving. Serve with an appropriate sauce. Thoroughly sanitize utensils and areas to expose of raw chicken or juices. As I mentioned before, the method of cooking that is required are roasting, baking, and deep fat frying. Candidate may combine two methods to ensure thorough cooking. So you can do two methods if you want. That's fine. But I will advise my students to choose one. All right. So in your main course, right? In your main course, you have three components. So this SBA did not ask you for a drink. It asked you for a main course. And I know you know the elements of a main course. What are the elements? So if you say protein, carbohydrates, and vegetable, then you are correct. So I'm going to create a simple meal to show you an example. So you have your protein, you have your carbohydrate, you have your cook or raw vegetable. You know that it's a, moist, it's a dry eat method because they ask you for roasting, they ask you for baking and deep fat frying. So you must have a sauce to accompany this protein dish. Then you have your carbohydrate. So carbohydrate can be what? Can be a rice, you can have potatoes, you can have yam, right, very good. And you can do cook or raw vegetable. If you do your cook vegetable, then you don't need an accompaniment, right? You don't need any dressing. But if you have raw vegetable, yes, of course, you need a dressing. So let's look at my example. So this is my, this is my menu. So I have stuffed baked chicken leg with barbecue sauce, all right? And I have Duchess potatoes, that is for my carbohydrate, right? And then I have for my vegetable, cucumber slices. And that will be served with island, thousand island dressing, all right? And this is my example of my food item. So for my protein, as I mentioned, I have stuffed baked chicken leg. So I have the stuffed chicken. And you can see the slicing coming out. So when you stuff it, so I'm going to do a video on how you can stuff your chicken, all right? So this is the chicken, right? And you stuff it. And then after you stuff it, you roll it. And then you slice it for display. So you'll have all those methods coming out. And that will be served with my barbecue sauce. Let's go to my Duchess potato. So the Duchess potato is really Irish potato, right? So in the Irish potato method, you can look up your recipe. So you cook the Irish and you crush it. You can mix your cheese and any other thing that you want to put into it. You put it in a piping bag. And I have here the sheet, baking sheet. And all you do, you pipe it on the baking sheet. And you can sprinkle parsley on it. And then you bake it for maybe five minutes. So you can look your recipe up and then you display it, right? And um, then you will see the little cross on it, so the cheese on top. You can sprinkle your cheese on top for it to look really crispy. All right, so that is my Duchess potato. And finally, I have my slice, my cucumber slice. And that will be served with my thousand island dressing. All right, so those are my three items. All right, and that is the end. And I hope you learned something today. Subscribe, share, and like. Thank you.